Yo, Be More Tactical back at it with another video. And man, I missed your YouTube. I'm sorry. I apologize, man. I've been busy. I've been busy, man. But uh, we, we about to get back into it. And uh, we're we going to jump right into, uh, you know, how we normally do and talk firearms and accessories, etc. But I appreciate y'all for sticking with me. I know a few of you guys have reached out just to make sure everything's okay. Everything's perfectly fine, man. Just uh, the family's been having me busy. Uh, but today we're here to talk and uh, we, we're here to catch up and we're going to talk about this Taurus G2C. I'm um, pointing at the box as if the firearm is in here. It's not. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to catch you guys up on why I purchased this, what are my thoughts on it, etc. Um, but, you know, like we always do, let's make sure this guy is safe and it's empty. Um, Mag's here on the desk it is loaded but so man I, I was in the market for a new edc and actually i shouldn't even call it an edc uh it's not an everyday carry it is a uh sometimes carry <laughs> so sometimes carry man you know if i was kind of talk as i've talked about before my everyday carry is my sig p365 xl although my glock 43x has been getting some um it's been getting some action in my carry rotation. I know some people don't care for carry rotations. Uh, think that you should kind of have that discipline of just kind of repetitively carrying the same thing, shooting the same thing, uh, so that you can kind of get that muscle memory down and uh, not just kind of bouncing all over the place. But I think the culture is kind of changing on that a little bit. I think some people some people have a winter carry and a summer carry, et cetera. But um, I, I purchased this firearm, and we're going to talk about it a little bit, although it's a Taurus G2C. Um, no, this isn't your first G2C video, and if it is, then I'm going to kind of share with you, you know, what I know about it or what my thoughts are to kind of give you an opinion. I'll talk about why I purchased it. So it is a, a polymer grip. I think it's a 3.2 inch barrel. Obviously, it's striker fire. This one in particular has the manual safety. I know we have our safety snob. Some people don't like it, but there are some people, especially new gun owners, and I, I found this device or this device, this firearm to be popular for new gun owners, especially for people that's kind of getting into the culture, they're not ready to spend four or $500 for a firearm. I think I spent maybe about 259 on this from Sportsman's Guide. Um, that you're kind of starting at a level like this, which I think is totally acceptable. Um, I think Taurus has done a good job in recent years with the G2C, the G3C, uh, or the G3, et cetera. Um, I, I think those firearms have been, um, I think they've been received really well. Um, as you can see, you have uh, three white dot set up. What am I doing? There we go. Almost. Boom. All right. So, um, and these are, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty solid. I have seen uh, some people throw some night sights on it. Um, the trigger is actually pretty, pretty interesting on this as well. It kind of reminds me. You guys see the trigger style? So obviously if you pull on the outside of the trigger without hitting that little dongle there, it's not gonna pull. In order to pull the trigger, you're there. Um, different than some striker fire pistols, the one thing I do like about this, if you're doing some dry firing and you're practicing in the house, you don't have to keep racking the slide like most striker fire pistols. Uh, this one does have, you know, um, I'm not even gonna pretend that I know what that trigger style is called. I mean, I don't think it's really a single action double action, obviously, but nevertheless, I, I do like to dry fire with this to kind of get some different practice. Where versus if I'm, you know, practice with my Glock on my Sig, I'm having to constantly pull that. The capacity uh, in the mags or the standard ones are 12. It comes with two of those. Um, however, I haven't found it to be difficult to find. Um, extra mags. I typically like to have at least three um, for for my handguns, whether it be when I'm carrying um, or whether it be um, at the range just to kind of, you know, help my training sessions just kind of keep rolling. Um, I do different things when I train. Like I don't always just do full mags just so I can kind of practice my mag drops and reload. Sometimes I'll kind of throw three or four rounds in each mag and just kind of roll through it. Um, but, you know, do what works for you. Um, this firearm is about 22 ounces of the mag unloaded, so um, not difficult or heavy to carry. I was actually looking for the G3C um, 
and was having some difficulty finding it uh, as most firearms are that nowadays. I do love the texturing on the grip. Um, some it, It's not too aggressive at all. The stippling is pretty cool. I actually think it's a pretty nice gun for it to be what some people perceive to be a budget firearm. Um, and again, I, I don't mind the manual safety um, at all on something that I carry. I know it's not, um, I, I generally don't use it, uh, but in, in some instances, if, if, if I want to switch it on, I can, but um, I, I don't mind that at all. I know some people aren't fans of safeties on uh, firearms that they carry every day. But I think it's about meeting you where you are and uh, what makes you comfortable. Don't feel like you have to carry appendix if you're not comfortable carrying appendix. Don't feel like you have to carry uh, without, you know, with your safety disengaged if that's not what you're comfortable doing. Um, I think when it comes to firearms, it's, it starts with safety and comfort and, and doing what works for you. Um, you know, I, I talk to people all the time that ask about, you know, do I carry with a round in the chamber? Well, I mean, I don't believe in really telling somebody about all the measures I take in self-defense because I think most people are asking generally so they can know. But I mean, I never know when I'm going to have to defend myself. And I don't want somebody to say, oh, well, he keeps his safety. He only got one in the head. So I got a second or two. I'm not telling you, but... Um, I say do you know do what makes you comfortable what works for you um, I purchased this firearm in particular because in some cases uh, for those of you who don't know I am in the Atlanta Georgia area and um, obviously you can carry here um, and I do daily um, but in some cases you know some places they'll have signs up here to say that you can't you know um, carry your firearm where was I recently that said you couldn't have it uh, was it Stars and Strikes, maybe a bowling alley or something that said you couldn't? And, and in some cases, I know some of you guys say you ignore the signs and you keep it moving. And in other cases, you can't do that. Um, if if there's times where you're going into, I know everyone uses the examples of government buildings. I don't go in government buildings or courthouses often. I don't know about y'all. But, you know, if you're going into, you know, I know it's a pandemic, but it, it doesn't seem to be one here in Georgia or in Atlanta specifically. But if you're going into... Um, a lounge, you know, someone's going to pat you down and check and make sure you're not carrying. Um, and you got to leave your firearm in the car. I'm just not a fan of leaving, you know, something I've spent a ton of money on in the car. Um, you can lock it up all you want. Um, but thieves are creative. <laughs> if you've ever been to Atlanta, all they do is break in the cars out here, man. And so um, for me, I needed something that I can carry in the event, the rare occurrence that I have to leave it in the car. Um, I'd be sick if my 365 was stolen. I'd be sick if any of my firearms, including this one, was stolen. But it's an easier pill to swallow if you stole my $250 gun versus something that I've been, you know, spent and invested over, you know, $1,000. And um, so in the event that I cannot keep it on me at all times, if I know I'm going somewhere where I may not be able to carry the entire duration while I'm out the house, then I will typically uh, carry this if it's if I'm going somewhere where I may have to leave my firearm in the car. But overall, man, it's it's uh, I think it's a, a really nice design gun. I think it's priced just right. And I think as a backup or an alternative carry um, in the event that I need to send, you know, my Glock and my SIG in to get service to have just a backup carry option. I thought it was a great idea. I thought it was a pretty cool investment. Um, and and even at some point, you know, if it's a, you know, a pistol, I'll kind of pass over to my son as he starts learning and training and practicing. Uh, that'll be a handgun that I think we may can kind of start with. So uh, let me know if you, your opinions on this G2C. You know, I would give it give it a solid B. I think it's a I think it's a pretty solid firearm, man. But uh, let me know your thoughts or questions if you guys have it. Hit me up in the comments. As you guys already know, you can catch this on Instagram at uh, Be More Tactical. And uh, I appreciate you guys for taking the time to check out the video. Like, share it, comment, and uh, I'll, I'll chat, chat it up with you guys in the comment section. But until next time, I'll see you in the next video, man. Y'all stay safe. Peace.